This is the kangaroo rat. It is a small rodent who averages about 3.5 to 5.5 inches in body length. Now despite its relatively small size, the kangaroo rat is capable of jumping up to a distance of 9 feet, which gives it the crown of the longest jump among all mammals in relation to its body size. The kangaroo rat's ability to jump long distances isn't the only fascinating thing about this animal, but one of the coolest things about it is that it can go its whole life without having any water. Now how is this possible? How can an organism go almost its entire life without drinking a drop of water when it is such a vital resource for almost all other organisms on the planet Earth? Well firstly, kangaroo rats have a convoluted nasal passageway. Now this convoluted nasal passageway is just a narrow and convoluted route and it provides a temporal countercooling system which operates as a heat exchanger for the air that they breathe. To say this simply, the rats keep their nasal passages at a lower temperature than their core body temperature. Air exhaled from the lungs cools as it passes through the nose. This causes water vapor to be picked up from the lungs to condense on the inside of the nose, where it is then reabsorbed back into the body. It's essentially like they have their own air conditioners right inside of their nose. The next adaptation that allows kangaroo rats to survive without any water would be how efficient and well organized their kidneys are. In addition to this, they have longer loops of Henle than most animals, which allows for highly concentrated urine and as much water absorption as possible. When combining these two adaptations with the fact that the kangaroo rat gets most of its moisture from its seed diet, as well as its nocturnal behavior, we can now see why the kangaroo rat is the best water conservationist in the world. Additionally, before I go, I would like to mention that I will be linking papers involving convoluted nasal passageways in the description below if anyone would like to look into that and if that fascinated them. Also, I would just like to tell you all thank you so much for watching this video and that I'll see you next time. Thank you. Have a good day.